Hi everybody, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing lesson 4.1 on our 4th grade Floor to Go math book. Lesson 4.1 starts off our chapter on dividing by one digit numbers, and this lesson is about estimating quotients using multiples. So before I even go any further, I want to explain those words quotient and multiples. A quotient is the answer to a division problem, so they were wanting us to find estimates to division problems using multiples. And as you can see here on our page, the definition of a multiple is, it says a multiple of a number is the product of a number and a counting number. One, two, three, four, and so on are counting numbers. Um, what I tell my students, just to make it make more sense, is if I'm listing the multiples of, say, two, for instance, it's every number that I say when I'm counting by two. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and so on and so on. If I'm listing the multiples of five, it's any number that I say when I'm counting by five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, so on and so on. So we're going to find the answers to division problems. Actually, we're going to find estimates of division problems using what we know about multiples. So our problem here in of the problem is the bakery made 110 pumpkin muffins. And I'm just going to underline 110 so I know that's something important I'm going to have to use. They will be packed in boxes with eight muffins in each box. About how many boxes will there be? So the division problem here is going to be 110 divided by 8. And they want us to find an estimate using multiples. This is how you do it. You're going to count by 8 until you get close to 110. So they've started a chart here for us. 8, 16, 24, 32. The next number should be 40. Then 48, then 56, then 64, then 72, then 80, then 88, then 96, then 104, and then 112. Then they stop because 112 is higher than the number that I'm looking for, which is 110. So up here, let me just look, show, explain the top of the chart for you. This is the 8 is counting by 8s one time. 16 is counting by 8s two times. 24 is counting by 8s three times, and so on and so on. So... Find the multiples of 8 that 110 is between. So we don't exactly say 110. So our number falls somewhere here between 104 and 112. 104 and 112. So 110 is between not just 104 and 112, but you would say it's between 100, or sorry, between 13 and 14, because that was counting by eights 13 times and 14 times. Now the next step here says, well, it's closer to the 112 than it is to the 104. So 110 is closest to 112. So 110 is about. 14. 110 divided by 8 is about 14. So there will be about 14 boxes of muffins. So just to recap, this lesson wants us to find estimates or about how much the answer to a division problem would be using multiples. So they're not actually asking you to divide, they're asking you to count by the number and see what two numbers it's closest to or between and then choose which one it's closest to to find about how many. Okay, so we're going to try another one here at the Sharon Show. It says a restaurant has 68 chairs. There are six chairs at each table. 
about how many tables are in the restaurant. So our problem is estimating 68 divided by 6. So what we're going to do is use our multiples of 6 to get close to 68. So my multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, and 72. So this 68 that I'm looking for is going to be somewhere right around here in between the 66 and the 72. But 68 is closer to 66 than it is 72. So my answer will be that I counted by sixes or use my multiples of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times. So my answer, my estimate will be it's about 11. There are about 11 tables in the restaurant. Now this right here gives you a little sort of trick. It says, well think what t number times 6 is about 68. We know 10 times 6 is 60. That gets us all the way up here to this multiple, the 10 times without having to actually write out all these other ones that come before it. And we know that 11 times 6 is 66. So if I know 11 times 6 is 66, then I don't have to count out all these multiples. I don't have to waste all that time. I just know in my head, well, it's at least 11 tables in the restaurant because 11 times 6 is 66. Now, 12 times 6, I would just count on from the 66 to get 72. And then this is just what I already said, that the 68 is closer to the 66, so the best estimate is closer to the 66 than it is to the 72. So the best estimate is about 11 tables in the restaurant. So if you know some bigger multiplication problems in your head, you can just go ahead and skip up to those ones rather than writing out all the ones before those big ones like I had to do at the beginning. So these are ways, this is the way that you are learning to estimate a quotient using multiples. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message. And I want you to write down, if you're in my class, in your planner, the secret password for this lesson is going to be evergreen. All right, thank you.